We are here for the Red Bull Heavy Metal event. There's going to be 40 of the best snowboarders across the world, and they're coming to one place, and it's about to get pretty wild here. Cascade Park is it's kind of a, a proving ground in the Midwest. There's been a lot of like really gnarly stuff done here, like Justin Fronius switched Ollie out of the gazebo. The kink rail has been destroyed, like Chris Gerolis, gap front lip. <laughs> it seems like every time anyone comes up to Duluth, this is kind of their first stop, just to even like look at the rail. Many have stepped to it, and only a couple have really conquered it, so it's cool to have a contest here and, and give the riders like free reign and see what can actually go down on this thing. The Red Bull Heavy Metal is a, a street contest. It's been roughly 20 years since the last event. Everyone loved it, and so it's amazing to see it come back. I was at all the, the first three. I'm real excited to see what goes down here. It was a really heavy event back in the day. I guess it's only right to bring it back on some of the gnarliest features in Minnesota. From what it looks like, uh... <laughs> They've been straight carnage, and I'm happy we're bringing it back. See what carnage we can bring in um, present day. Should be sick. We're open for business. Judges are ready. Riders are ready. Let's Have see some heat out the gates, Bob. <laughs> wow! Eight hundred. Backside Impressive. That gap out hurts. This one's coming down to just landing. Street snowboarding started like maybe 20 years ago and it started from guys who were mainly skateboarding and starting to do tricks on their snowboard that they did on a skateboard. When people started doing bigger stuff and stuff that people weren't stepping to on skateboards, that's when it got interesting. The best avenue for the early street guys was making video parts. I could go on a street trip and come home with handfuls of clips that can go up on the timeline and turn into minutes. Like, it's been my whole career. From then, it was just another way for these pro riders to not do contests and have video parts and take to the streets worldwide as well. It's cool to have guys that normally film video parts to see them in person and see what they do in a contest scenario. It's a really cool event to be a part of because it's huge for the street community. We don't normally get to be a part of events like this, so it's really sick for the exposure. Look at this little dude right here. I ain't no little dude, I'm big dude. Benny Milan hit me up, which was like, dude, you gotta come out here. We got a sick setup at Cascade Park. There's gonna be an insane crew of people here shredding and should be pretty crazy to see what goes down. 
I just kind of wanted to do something for the whole community and now we're here. We got $20,000 up for grab today. Let's get this party started. Money don't sleep. Got to pay me by the minute. Oh yeah. Money, 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 don't sleep. Got it, money, 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 money,
Heavy metal. Heavy metal. <laughs> I want to see this keep happening because it's so much fun. And it goes in a different direction than just like, you know, the regular competition riding. And I think it raises the bar for street riding and snowboarding in general. The winner for the heavy metal goes to Maggie Lee Oh, oh I think snowboarding needed this. Um, it helped really open up street snowboarding to the general public. Like previously, rail jams have existed, of course, and they kind of got cut left and right over the past, I don't know, five to 10 years. And bringing something like this out, it's really unique and special. Nice work, ladies. Well, well, that's it. Riding with all the people that were here, like all the homies, like, it's just like way less stressful. It's more just fun. Like you're just out here snowboarding with your friends. It really gives people a taste of what street snowboarding is all about. And the winner is the hometown hero, Benny Myers. Yeah! Yeah!